We're starting the year off strong as it's release time once again and Salesforce Spring 26 is here. This one is packed with updates designed to make your life as an admin more manageable. From smarter tools to improvements that help you stay on top of security, performance, and everyday configuration work, there's a lot to unpack. So let's take a closer look at what's new. First up, Salesforce My Trust Center. It's still personalized trust, but now you get org-specific platform health, incident history, maintenance info, and my domain details all in one place. Plus, you now have notifications you can subscribe to. This is another big step toward more AI-forward admin work. Admins can now use an AI assistant directly inside setup to help configure org settings. Thanks to its ability to understand and respond to natural language prompt, this feels much like asking a teammate how to do something, except the help is built right into Salesforce. No org is perfect, and while we hope it's not the case, errors are sometimes unavoidable. For some admins, they're simply part of day-to-day -day life. Page errors can be especially tricky to troubleshoot when you can't easily reproduce them. With the new Error Console, non-fatal lightning errors are centralized in one place, making it easier to continue working through these issues and share error details with your admin when needed. Admins now have more flexibility when it comes to who can delete files in Salesforce. Generally, file deletion is considered tightly restricted to either the file owner or an admin. If you would like to give this kind of access to anyone who isn't either, you'd have to give them the modify all data permissions, which is obviously way more powerful than needed. The new delete Salesforce files permission gives users the ability to delete any file that they have access to view. This also proves that Salesforce listens to the community as this feature was born from an idea exchange request. So what feature are you most excited about? We'd love to hear your thoughts on this update. Being in beta last release, we're glad this is now generally available. When adding a report table to a dashboard, Salesforce will automatically respect the existing report settings with this enabled. This simple yet welcome improvement keeps dashboards aligned with the reports they're based on, especially when reports have already been carefully configured for specific audiences. Spring 26 brings a couple of small but helpful improvements to reports. You can now share reports and dashboards folders using precise usernames, which makes it much easier to distinguish between users with the same name. Custom disclaimers can now also be added to exported reports. Do note though that you cannot replace Salesforce's default disclaimer. You simply add your own message alongside it giving you more flexibility without breaking compliance. For inline edits, the 200 record limit is now enforced earlier in the edit process, so you're prevented from selecting more records than you can actually edit, instead of running into an error when you try to save. There's also a change to how blank values are sorted, so list views behave in a more predictable way. When sorting in descending order, empty fields now appear at the top since they're now treated as the highest value. The new request approval lightning component lets users submit records for approval directly from the record page. Admins can configure the component to require users to select the first approver and include comments as part of the request. It's worth noting that this component works only with flow-based approval processes. So while legacy approval processes are still supported today, this update is a clear signal that Salesforce is continuing to push the adoption of flow approvals going forward. 
With the steady stream of security incidents over the past year, it's no surprise security has stayed top of mind for many Salesforce teams. In response, HealthCheck now offers deeper visibility by tracking additional security settings, including MFA status, SAML enablement, and session management controls. For example, MFA is now clearly enforced as a high-risk requirement, and access to the metadata API for external client apps is also flagged as critical. This makes it much easier for admins to spot potential gaps before they turn into real issues. There's also a new email notification option in HealthCheck. You can now choose specific email addresses or admins to get notified when your org's HealthCheck score changes. That is handy. With this release, Salesforce introduces a dedicated Shield app that brings all Shield products and features into one place. Yes, including data detect, field audit trail, platform encryption, and event monitoring. Security has never been more important, and Salesforce is clearly leaning into that. Having a single app makes it much easier to access and manage Shield-related settings without having to dig through setup pages every time. Connected apps are the legacy way to connect to external applications. They're powerful, but without the right controls, they can introduce security risks. Following recent security events, Salesforce has started tightening restrictions around how connected apps are used. With the Spring 26 release, the creation of new connected apps is now disabled by default. The good news, though, is that this change doesn't affect existing connected apps, so anything already set up will continue to work as expected. The updates introduced in the Spring 26 release all point in a clear direction, safer defaults and better visibility for admins. While there may not be a single headline feature stealing the spotlight, when changes focus on making day-to-day -day admin work more predictable, more secure, and easier to manage, the cumulative impact is hard to miss. In practice, they can be just as valuable as any big flashy release feature. Which one will you be using the most? Leave your answers in the comments. Thank you for tuning in to this update on the admin features for the Spring 26 release. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell for reminders.